the 90s in Brandon was a time that was really unique. There was clicks. So Huge there was amount like of clicks. The jocks, and then there was the skater guys. If you were a skater, you were kind of an outsider, and then the punk rock thing kind of went with it. It seemed like everybody you met with similar interests made music. We never really understood how big it could possibly get. You have the Torontos and the Vancouver's. Brandon is one of those places that taught us don't play just big towns. The amount of people that were into live music was incredible. It was all about being just like fast and aggressive and passionate. It was so good, it was so big, it was so enthusiastic. It was challenging like everything around us basically. It was challenging just the boringness of growing up in a city like this. For like the 90s all the way through into the early 2000s, it was just like, we should play Winnipeg, but we've got to play Brandon. Welcome to the first episode of Dead Horses. I'm starting this podcast for one reason in particular. I'm getting a band that I started 20 years ago back together, and uh, we're going to play a show. A few pennies short, we're probably the fastest band in town. Terrific band, awesome energy. When I pitched the idea to the bandmates, we all agreed it would be fun. He was so excited. He's like, I just need a confirmation that you would just play one more show. (laughs) I said, well, what for? We're headlining. Everyone is going to be so pissed by the time we play, no matter. It's not like we're trying to relive those glory days. Let's just play these songs one more time live. I'm keeping my expectations low. We can do it, but can we do it? Can we physically play this music again and do it justice? Good day, everybody. We're a few minutes short for Brandon. 